Hi everyone, Mary here from Mary from Ireland on YouTube, Twin Flame Ireland and UK on YouTube, Angels Love and Light on social media and my website is www.angeliclifeguidance.com So where are we? Uh, physically, I'm in Enniscrone, County Sligo. Uh, yeah, it's going okay, but I'm in a kind of a place I've been in before and hitting old stuff and making old, not old decisions, but decisions I made before at a deeper level. Um, the energies are oh, right, yes, intense. But looking back to last week's reading, the good stuff, the breaking through, the leaving the old behind brings us into the new, which is abundant and joyful and happy and that. And we don't have to wait to be that way. We can be that way every single day. But of course, things pop up in front of us. Opportunities come. Decisions have to be made. Uh, letting go. Moving forward taking up new opportunities, whatever. Uh, at the moment, my energy feels like, go, 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 go. I want to be do, 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 do. But doors are not open yet. And I have to breathe and calm and settle my energy. So this week, it's for what? the 15th of October, the week beginning the 15th of October, <clears throat> I think. If I'm wrong, I'll change the date underneath. I think last week was the 8th. I'm using the Power of Surrender deck by Judith Orloff, MD, and the Ascended Masters deck by Doreen Virtue, only. <clears throat> Throat chakra. Um, I just feel I need a stronger kind of energy this week to ask what we need to know, what we need to focus on, what we need to remember for this upcoming week, what the energies are going to be like, and uh, a little bit of guidance for the upcoming week. And I'm sticking to the upcoming week. Some weeks they are definitely energy, overall energies of the month, but I'm sticking with this week. 1010 was a lovely day. We had a most a summer's day in the middle of autumn. It was beautiful. So I was at the beach a lot on that day and uh, just chilling. I wasn't I did exercise and walking and that but I sat a lot of it. No inspiration coming in, just chill. And that was fine with me. So our ascended masters deck we'll choose two to see what our ascended who our ascended masters are and I can't even pronounce it, <laughs> and what they're asking us. Okay, so, teacher. Now, this is Maha... No, there's no point. There it is there. Maybe some of you know him or her, but I don't, but I'll look her up later or him up later. Um, teacher. So you as a teacher and you as a student. So what time are you in at the moment? Are there people around you that are listening to your every word and that your energy is teaching and helping? And is there something new for you to learn as well? Looking back on all you've learned, how can you help others with your knowledge? Uh, I think that's where I am at the moment. And as I say, doors not opening and decisions being made of where I want to be and where I need to be and what my gut feelings are telling me. So I've just got to chill. There's a time to teach and a time to learn. So what do you feel is your path at the moment and how can you fulfill it? Even though, like with me, I want to do it one way 
and the doors on that way are not opening and there's the other way I feel I have to do it too but I don't feel like doing it the motivation isn't there at the moment so void time in between transition time integration time for me anyway I don't know how the rest of you are but teacher so what message does that bring to you teaching and learning Fertility, it's a time of fertility, new beginnings, new branches, new buds coming on the trees, it's new. And most definitely we're in the new and like we have to find our way because there are people who are receiving the new energy and teaching us. But this is all new really. We are our own teachers and our own students and our own finding the knowledge of what's new and how to navigate the new paths because it is really totally new for those who have been ascending and learning and evolving. Uh, it's new. So I suppose we have to go back to school and learn the new. And that's Pan, of course. I feel I want to go back to that deck, but... Uh, Oh, there's one after coming out. Surrender to the magic of who you are. And that's what we're doing. Like I had an instant yesterday where I had to make a decision from the absolute core of my being. Like a normal person would say, give it a shot, give it a shot. But it just was against everything that I represent and I feel in the core of my being. So surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us. Even in the mundane aspects of life, remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. That is exactly it. And I had to speak from the heart. And I didn't know what I was going to get back, but thankfully I was working with or speaking with a very open person who understands the bigger picture. So I didn't get shouted at or condemned or judged etc so who are you what's your gut telling you what is your core being shouting at you and it's probably going to be different different than anybody else has done before but just remember you're not alone you have soul groups you have spirit guides you have the universe you have everybody rooting for you so who are you who do you want to be? Who do you know you are? Follow it. Follow your heart. Surrender to your full power. These are great cards. The lion, lion energy. And that's been coming up for me too. Lioness. And not aggressively, like assertively, calmly and from here. It came from here. Well, I've got to speak my truth and I've got to speak, even if this person doesn't understand, I've got to say how I feel deep in the core of my being. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. So that's the kind of energy we're in. And those two are the very exact same message. And this is just telling us that there will be new teachers and we are teachers of new people and we will be a teacher and a student and it's a fertile time it's a new beginning time i want to choose another one i'm going to go for the goddesses i see them up here i was going to go for one from the, those decks <laughs> Bottom of the deck, Anya, Leap of Faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Now that doesn't mean jump into, into an abyss. It means take your next step when you feel nudged to. You've been thinking about this, you've been, you've been living it, you've been feeling it, it's been bubbling up within you. Jump. OK, and you know what's right for you. You know what's right for you. Even if it feels like a big leap, if it feels like a big change, you know deep within your heart, 
you've been sifting through all the opportunities you've been sifting through you know what feels right for you what doesn't feel right for you where do you want to be what do you want to be doing what life have you visualized ahead of you so opportunities coming so yippee so leap of faith it will feel maybe big or strange or new and of course it is new and it could be something that i never thought this would happen i never thought i could really bring this about but here it is so i think those four cards are for this week most definitely and i don't know when this leap of faith will come but i'd say we're getting close because all was in a void and a not knowing and doors closed something better is coming along so just trust and believe trust in it okay so i think I I just said I'll choose the top one just to see what it is endings and beginnings so we're in we're at the end of a cycle just about to start a new cycle and it feels flat and it feels you don't know where you're going you know so that's just know that something bigger bigger and better is coming and that we have to integrate the new energies in after letting go of old the old must be released so that the new can enter. And Kali, like I love her, and look at her hands and the lotus flower, the moon, the third eye, all the senses heightening. So love and light. Have a great, great week. And I think I will actually do a Twin Flame uh, reading after this one. Twin Flame U Ireland and UK channel on YouTube. So I'll share both of them anyway, this one and the other one on my Facebook page and my LinkedIn page. And I'm not sure if it goes on Twitter. I don't use Twitter much, but maybe it automatically gets uploaded on Twitter as well. So love and light. Have a good, good day. I'm available for readings of any description. Check out my website. I have two special offers on for October as well. I will post them in the comments below. I post them on Facebook and LinkedIn. So I post them under this video as well. Very simple, short readings at a reasonable price. So love and light to you.